Hey, good morning guys. Greetings from Costa Rica. This is Tara from the design blog Gallery of Shea and I wanted to film a quick video this morning to let you know that you may be seeing some tropical flowers and some bananas and some orchids and whatnot and that's because I am here on a women's retreat for a week or so and I am going nuts over all the beautiful flowers that I'm seeing here. I am staying at a Wyndham and I've met the local caretaker um, who takes care of an orchid house here on the property and he gave me a little tour and we ran around together and with his Spanish and my um, minimal Spanish and a little English and our common knowledge of Latin plant names we were able to talk about a ton of amazing and beautiful flowers. Uh, we saw some sugar cane, pineapple guava. Uh, bananas, papaya, all kinds of beautiful, beautiful things here. Uh, so this is just a little intro video to let you know what's up. No, I haven't um, packed my suitcase and moved to a faraway island, um, but I wanted to let you know we're going on a little garden design vacay. So I hope you join me in the upcoming videos and um, follow along on Insta or our Facebook page to check out the amazing and beautiful gardens and plants around the world. I'm sure I'll come up with some great posts for you on how you can maybe uh, mimic um, a tropical theme or design in your garden no matter what climate you're in. That's, that's kind of the thought that I'm um, investigating these gardens with is that how can we reproduce this beautiful vacation aura back in your garden. All right, so comment below. Where's the where is the location that you've been that has been the closest to the equator? Comment below and let me know.